A new year, a new approach at LA City Council. Today was the first meeting of the new year mm -hmm. and the council president made clear disruptions will no longer be tolerated. That's right, council members are also trying to move past last year's scandals and even appeared resigned to the reality that Councilman Kevin DeLeon will not be stepping down. KCAL News political reporter Tom Wade is here with all of today's developments and analysis as well, Tom. Well, you know, it is a new year and these council members appear to be pretty focused on getting work done, even despite some of these tensions that are still running high. One major change is council members did not leave when council member Kevin DeLeon showed up. You'll remember DeLeon is now the only one from the racist recording scandal who remains in office. Still tensions in the council chamber are running high. Welcome back, everyone. LA's embattled city council had its first meeting of the new year Tuesday with council president Paul Krikorian seemingly taking a zero tolerance approach to disruptions from the gallery. There's going to be no shouting out. Okay, he's ordered removed from the meeting. Sergeants, can you please identify who's shouting out now? Whoever is standing up on the left, please sit down and be silent. Recent council meetings have been plagued by protesters shouting down council members, and the outbursts got even worse after the racist recording about redistricting became public, and Councilman Kevin DeLeon refused to resign. DeLeon was once again in the chamber for at least part of the meeting, and was just feet away when new council member Eunices Hernandez made this floor speech once again demanding De Leon step down. How dare you, how dare you continue to show up to these chambers and make yet another day that should be focused on life-saving life -saving tenant protections about yourself. We spoke with Councilmember Hernandez Tuesday night after the meeting. What happened today and why I made that speech was because I was tired of one person and one person's ego sucking up the energy of a government that's supposed to be serving four million people. Hernandez was among the council members who tried but failed to extend LA's COVID emergency, which is set to expire at the end of the month, and along with it, eviction protections for tenants. We don't talk about this enough, but the eviction to homelessness pipeline. We, we need to stop that. Council President Krikorian says he supports new ordinances protecting tenants from eviction, but says those safeguards should not be tied to COVID. There is no reason uh, to extend the COVID emergency. What we should do is focus on the tenant protections. Assistant Professor of Politics at Pomona College, Sarah Sedwani, says it appears LA City Council members are resigned to the fact that De Leon is staying on. There was a stark change from at least the first council meeting of these new members in which they stayed in the room. Um, previously, uh, when Kevin De Leon entered the room, council members who were opposed to him stood up, left the meeting, uh, bringing the meeting to a halt because it, 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 they lost a uh, quorum. Uh, notably, those council members stayed today. De Leon's office uh, released a statement earlier tonight saying he is committed to staying in office and uh, also he did actually vote with the progressive members of the council who, who wanted to extend that COVID emergency. As we were just talking about, Pat, you were wondering. Yes. Yeah. Because as we talk about um, Kevin DeLeon still showing up, right. mm -hmm. they can't remove him. And I was just wondering right. if he is still able to vote. He can and vote. But I think, you know, and, and an interesting point to your point is that he was removed from his council chairmanships and his council membership. I mean, you know, on, mm -hmm. on various committees, for yeah. example, on the homeless. So he's removed, he was, he, he definitely lost power. They stripped him of that. Like you said, they can't fire him. That has to be done through either a recall or the voters have to, you know, not reelect him. So, you know, that, that's really how this will ultimately play out, so. All right, so we go. He's, he's back. He's now back and he can vote, mm -hmm. yeah, he, he can vote. Even though they have stripped him of his council uh, or his committee chairmanships right. and the power there, so. All right. Oh, Tom, you thank go. you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. A terrifying takeoff in Orange County. It was a boom. <laughs> I mean, it was right.